Hey guys, it's Suzanne Mosley with Paper Pie. You can find me on YouTube and Facebook at Suzanne Shares Books. You can find me on Instagram, Suzanne underscore shares. And my Paper Pie website is SuzanneSharesBooks.com. So I know it's May 2024. It's almost June. We're heading into the summer. And one thing that I hear often from parents, and I know as a parent as well, often we hear from our kids, hey, I'm bored. And I think it's tempting uh, to hand over our electronics. But I want to offer you some options from Paper Pie that you can use with your kiddos of all ages to keep them entertained. This is also very helpful if you homeschool and you have older kids you're working with and you need to keep your littles entertained, um, or um, if you've got big kids doing homework after school or at play practice or soccer and you need something for them to do. These are some really fun things that you can um, that you can use with them. Okay, let's try our water wonders these are magic painting and that they um, anywhere it's white you paint with water and the color comes out and they are reusable so you just literally set the book up like this separate the pages let it dry and then you can use it again paint with water get you a little cup like this with a lid and a straw hole and you can um, it travels with you they can even use it in your car we also have um, book and puzzle sets this one is actually um, a nine piece set and it has three puzzles with it and all of our all of our puzzles come with a book so there are three puzzles nine different pieces three different colors so you will um, be able to do them they can even separate the colors as an activity and then they can do a puzzle oh, and we have all sorts of puzzle pieces um, two puzzle pieces all the way up to 300 this is a new um, my first um, wrap up for younger kiddos, this one is um, colors, there's also numbers, dinosaurs, zoo, farm animals, and the way these work, you start over on the left, so you have to find what's red. So yellow, yellow, blue, blue, green, green, and then we're done. And you flip it over. If you can see any of the colors when you're done, that gives your kiddos a hint that, hey, they need to go back and check it because something, um, Something is done incorrectly. Another fun activity to do, these are art cards. This one is specifically the cartoon one, but there's also robots. Um, there's a um, write your own story one. So each step of the game, you draw a different piece of the cartoon's body. And oh, I'm missing number one, which was the face. It's somewhere. So you draw, um, step one is draw the face. Step two, you do um, no, step two is the face. Oh, step one is the face. <laughs> there it is. Then um, eyes. Then you work through all of these to get the whole body of the cartoon drawn. You add in details. You give them a name. You can sit these out. There are so many different options for each one. You can sit them out, give them a sheet of paper, and they can do this activity on their own. It's great for all ages, um, big kids and little kids, and even grandparents can do it um, all at the same time. Um, we, um, I'm a huge fan of our um, wipe clean. We have um, different activity ones. We have um, academic ones, I call them, starting cursive. There are math ones, they're reusable. You do the activities with the wipe clean marker and then you wipe it off and you can do them again and again and again. Um, a brand new scissor skills book. So you can cut out uh, the different pictures and they make fun little um, things that your kiddos can play with as well. So they're practicing their scissor skills. Um, we have the Play-Doh book, which is amazing. Um, it gives you, uh, it's purposeful playing with Play-Doh is what I, what I call it. Make different shapes with them. You put them on the book and um, they will entertain themselves with Play-Doh and it keeps it contained. And um, we also have these different activity ones. This is Little Helpers Sort and Play. This is the picnic version. These are felt. Um, love these. So it's a little storybook and also, honestly, they can just play with it. If you're not available to read it to them, that's okay. Um, so there's that one. This is Learn to Lace. There's also Woodlands. So we love these. So you just go in and out, uh, follow the numbers if, if your kiddo can do number recognition, or they can just practice going in and out, in and out with lacing, which is great, fine motor skill. We also have this fishing set. This one is a fishing one. We also have an axolotl, um, and then another new one I forgot. And it comes with a fishing pole and it's magnets. 
Um, so that is entertaining. And then I also love our My Town Felt Set and Magical Adventure um, set. These are play sets. This one is felt. Um, and I have a separate video on that. So definitely check on that one on my website as well. So I hope all of these arrays of different activity things that you can do with your kiddos um, will help either in the summer or if you're homeschooling littles or need some entertainment for any of your kiddos that are non-electronics. So these are all on my Paper Pie website, um, SuzanneShearsBooks.com. Thanks, friends.